Hello. It's nice to see you again. For today's lesson, we will learn about the parts and functions of the skeletal system. Let's begin. Before we begin, let's find out what you already knew about our lesson. Read the following questions carefully, then choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. Which body system protects the organs of the body such as the heart, lungs, and brain? A. Circulatory system. B. Digestive system. C. Muscular system. D. Skeletal system. It's letter D. 2. Why is bone marrow important to the body? A. It stores much fat. B. It makes the bone strong. C. It produces red blood cell. D. It produces new bone cell. It's letter C. 3. Which is not a function of the skeletal system? A. It gives shape to the body. B. It serves as the framework of the body. C. It protects the internal organ of the body. D. It circulates oxygen and removes carbon dioxide. It's letter D. 4. These are bones that protect the lungs and the heart. A. Ribs. B. Skull. C. Sternum. D. Vertebrae. It's letter A. 5. This joint allows circular and free movement. A. Ball and socket joint. B. Condyloid joint. C. Hinge joint. D. Pivot joint. It's letter A. Have you ever made a kite? What did you use as its frame? I used sticks as its frame. Where did you paste the paper to complete the kite? I pasted the paper on the frame. When the kite was finished, did it have a shape like its frame? Yes, the kite had a shape like its frame. How will you compare the kite to the human body? The kite has a framework that provides structure just like the human body. The human body is made up of different kinds of bones. These bones are called skeleton. The human skeleton is the internal framework of the body. The adult human skeleton consists of 206 bones that are connected to one another by ligaments. At birth, infants have around 300 bones fused together when they become adults. These bones work together as a system called skeletal system. The skeletal system serves as the framework of the body. These are its major functions. The skeletal system provides the framework which supports and maintains shape of the body. The skeletal system protects the internal organ of the body. The skeletal system makes body movement possible through the muscles attached to them. The skeletal system stores important minerals like calcium and phosphorus and produces both red and white blood cells and platelets. The skeletal system is mainly composed of bones which are classified into two divisions, the axial and the appendicular skeleton. 
all other bones of skeletal system have four classifications. Namely, long bones, short bones, flat bones, and irregular bones. Now let's talk about the two divisions of the skeletal system. The axial skeleton includes the skull, vertebral column, ribs, and sternum. These bones form the axis or framework of the trunk and head. One of the axial skeletons is the skull, which consists of cranium and facial bones. The cranium is made up of eight bones joined together to form a rigid case that protects the brain. The face is made up of 14 facial bones. The eye socket or orbit protects the eyeball while mandible or jawbone is movable bone that holds the teeth. The spinal column or vertebrae, neck and backbone, are irregular bones that protect the spinal cord. Vertebrae are arranged on top of the other and move over each other slightly. There are 33 vertebrae in the spinal column of a child and 26 in an adult. This is so because as the child grows, the last seven bones join together to form just two bones. Ribs are the bones at the side of the chest. The rib cage protects the lungs and the heart. There are 12 pairs of ribs. The upper seven pairs are the true ribs because they are connected to the breastbone. The lower five pairs are called false ribs. False ribs are connected to the sternum through the seventh rib bones only. These are not joined directly to the sternum like true ribs. The last two pairs are not connected to the sternum. These ribs are called floating ribs. The appendicular skeleton includes the bones of the shoulder, arms, hands, hips, legs, and feet. The shoulder has the collarbone, clavicle, and shoulder bone, scapula. Clavicle is the collarbone found in front of the shoulder. Scapula is the shoulder bone found at the back of your shoulder. Upper arm has one long bone called the humerus and two bones in the lower arm known as the radius and ulna. Radius or radial bone is one of the two large bones of the forearm. The other bone is the ulna. The ulna is usually slightly longer than the radius while the latter is usually thicker. The wrist connects the hand to the forearm. Each wrist or carpal consists of eight bones. The palm or metacarpal has five bones. Fingers or phalanges have 14 bones. The lower extremities are composed of pelvic bones that support the lower parts of the body and aid the movement of the legs. Legs are made up of long bones. Femur is the upper leg and the longest bone in the body. Where are the blood cells produced? Inside the bones are bone marrows that are very important for the body to manufacture blood cells. Bone marrow is a spongy substance found in the center of the bones. Without bone marrow, our bodies could not produce the white blood cells we need to fight infection, the red blood cells we need to carry oxygen, 
and the platelets we need to stop bleeding. There are areas in our body where two or more bones meet. These are what we call joints. A joint is the part of the body where two or more bones meet to allow movement. The joints are moved by muscles. There are many types of joints. Here are the mobile joints in our body. Ball and socket joints, such as the shoulder and hip joints, allow backward, forward, sideways, and rotating movements. Hinge joints, such as in the fingers, knees, elbows, and toes, allow only bending and straightening movements. Pivot joints, such as the neck joints, allow limited rotating movements. Condyloid joints, also known as ellipsoid joints, such as the wrist joint, allow all types of movement except pivotal movements. Now, let's do the following activities. Activity 1. Study the name of the bones inside the box. Classify them into axial or appendicular. Here are the answers. Activity 2. Label the parts of the skeleton. Here are the answers. Are you ready for a short quiz? Part 1. Match the parts of the skeletal system in column A with the functions in column B. Part 2. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. 6. The skeletal system provides the framework which supports and maintains shape of the body. 7. Bones also facilitate movement by serving as points of attachment for your muscles. 8. Axial skeleton includes the bones of the shoulder, arms, hands, hips, legs, and feet. 9. Skeleton stores important minerals like potassium. 10. Millions of blood cells are produced in the bone marrow. Here are the answers. Did you get all the correct answers? Congratulations! You can now explain the parts and functions of the skeletal system. See you in our next lesson. Thank you for watching. Kindly support my channel by clicking the like button, sharing this video to your friends, and subscribing to my channel.